carrying uh, Rachel on the Doom call, haven't I? Well, more Rachel, actually. Yes, I've had old Rachel on the Doom call. Oh, she's inviting everyone to her little personal pity party, isn't she? Oh, sobbing away she was. She's like my bloody friend of me, she is. Yeah, she is. She's like a friend of me. And it, and it's, as soon as anything goes wrong, straight on the Doom call to go. Soon as I need something, then you can't get through to her. Oh no, don't hear hide nor hair of her old Rachel. Yes, she don't care. Well, she's only getting herself sued by her sister, isn't she? Yes, her half sister. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just between me and you. Don't tell anyone I said it. But I'm surprised it's took her this long. Really? I mean, I didn't tell Rachel that. But you know, it is really when you consider all the things what she said about your poor old Samantha, hey? That's disgusting, isn't it, foo two fooers saying all those things to her. And, and she's, like, got really bad multiple sclerosis and she's in a wheelchair and she's got two blimmin' degrees. I mean, if she'd have had another degree, she might have been in a pop group. That's just Samantha for you. She didn't even care. But old Rachel went around saying the most disgusting, trying to make out she was a bit of trailer trash. Not that I think people that live in trailers are trash, but that's the way that Rachel thinks. So let's just park that up one. Uh, food to viewers. Oh, well, old Rachel thinks that anyone that lives lives in a house with less than 28 toilets is sort of like a peasant. Doesn't she really? Old, old Rachel. Yeah, she's proper lardy da nowadays. So anyway, she said, oh, she said, Gert, she said, oh, you got to help me. I need advice. Oh, the whole world's crashing in on me. I said, what's happened? She said, well, she said, I've broken one of my fingernails, she said. And on top of that, me, me sister's only going to go and sue me. So I pretended I, I was shocked. I went, no. She's like, yes. I said, well, I said, what are you going to do? She said, I don't know. I don't know, Gert, she said. I just don't know what to do. She said, I'm going to have to go down the manicurist and get my fingernail. I said, no, never mind your fingernail. I said, what are you going to do about your sister suing you, girl? She said, well, she said, she said, uh, what I'm going to have to do, she said, I'm going to have to pay her off. I said, oh, go on. She said, yeah, she said, she only wants a couple of quid anyway. She said, so I've told uh, I've told Barry to get his checkbook out and he's just going to write a cheque and that'll make it all go away. She said, but... I just can't understand it, she said, because I go around the place, I'm authentic, I'm humanitarian, and I get myself around the place and I help people, well, mainly from my Montesquieu show mansion, granted, but I do help people, and I help people a lot. I said to her, I said, Rachel, I said, be honest, love, I said, what have you actually done to help people? She said, well, she said, um, let me think, um, well, she said, I got myself papped quite a lot. She said, that helps because it helps the photographers because they get to sell, sell my photographs. I said, fair dues. I said, yes. She said, well, I've done. Oh, she said, I also do get a lot of custom built up for the designers because when I wear their clothes, well, they sell a lot of my, uh, a lot of their stuff on the back of me wearing them. I said, go on. She said, yes. She said, I, I do. I help a lot of people. I do. She said, I said, no, but what about poor people, you know, in your authentic humanitarian way? Oh, she said, yeah, she said, uh, I took them a couple of uh, boxes of um, vegetables and fruit in some school in Brooklyn in New York, she said, so that's quite good. I said, yeah, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really resonate, does it? A couple of, I said, not only that, by the time they got there, they're all sweaty and everything. Because it probably, you had it on your lap in the, in the car and, well, it was about 98 degrees of heat, love. I said to her, I said, because I remember that, you were there in your cashmere, turtleneck and great big coat and everything, and people in the background were in, like, shorts and T-shirts sitting outside drinking mojitos. So, I said to her, why don't you just try being genuine? She said, you what? I said, genuine. She said, I don't know what you mean. I said, well, I said, listen, I said, why don't you, because you've got a platform, Actually, go out and do some real good in the world. Why don't you actually help out? You know, put yourself out there a bit. Just, like, help children. Oh, how about the Ukrainian children? How about you writing a few checks for Ukrainian children? Or, or how about you instigating the kids to transport and getting all the Ukrainian people? Because, I mean, your, your Barry was a war hero, wasn't he? I mean, he must have contacts. You must be able to get a couple of trains going and get all the kids on the train and bring them all over to Britain. I mean, I mean, you, you go from, well... You'd go from zero to hero in about an hour, wouldn't you? 
Oh, she said, she said, I couldn't do that. She said that, apart from it, she said, I wouldn't be able to get any photographs taken with all those children, not after they've been in a war zone, she said. Because, wow, she said, they probably haven't been wearing masks, she said, and I might get COVID. So, that's your Rachel for it. To be honest, well, I'll be honest, she is the master of her own destruction, isn't she? Yes! I mean, I can't wait for that court case, really. I'm going to get some popcorn, I am. Yes, I am, too. Yes! I can't wait.